Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Dead Cells, where today I think we're going to do a green run for what feels like the first time in a while. Uh, it is probably the case that the fact that we're finding ourselves having to flask after like every couple of hits in the last few episodes has a lot to do with the fact that we're running purple and so we have a very, very low um, base health relative to the other colors. Uh, if we take this barrel and we run green, I mean, I know, crossbow. But crossbow for a little while. We won't want to be using crossbow on the uh, on the giant anyway. Uh, and then we'll we'll actually have enough health that we can survive a mistake or two in the sanctuary in the cavern. Which I think is probably going to be very helpful. So let's grab this and this. Uh, oh wait, sorry. That goes in the backpack. And I guess we'll take... You know what? I probably shouldn't have picked that up even. Because now we're taking double damage. Whatever, it's fine. We'll, we'll replace it soon. And we will have to soon. Uh, so as long as we're at max health, that's pretty good. Pretty good damage output. This turret is not really playing into the build very much, but it's a powerful item in its own right. Okay, just don't get hit, you know? No big deal. And I mean, as long as we've got it equipped, we may as well use it. Uh, okay. Curse Cherry, we'll come back. It does feel like it's been a while since we were green, right? Okay. Better cherry. Non-cursed cherry. And I remember this thing has a melee attack, which is probably more appropriate for dealing with things like rats. Looks like as it stands right now, the melee attack one-shots the, uh, the invisible knife-throwing enemy, so... Definitely worth remembering. I see you over there. Problem solved. Turns out, crossbows. Uh, no, we're staying. Staying on color. Oh god, that was almost real bad. <laughs> as soon as I started rolling past him, I was like, uh-oh, I'm not gonna clear the door, am I? A real moment of, uh, tension there. Very eager to find the Hunter's Grenade and replace this <laughs> this ability I should not have taken. Okay, so this will be the Arboretum entrance. May as well go up here and activate the teleporter. Hold on a second. Do we already have our stats? We totally do. Hmm. Do I want to just take the time door? No, wait, no, sorry, we have one of our stats. Yeah, never mind. I was thinking, you know what, maybe we just don't do blueprint hunting, we get we get our extra item, but no, we can't. We can't leave without both of the stat points. Imagine, imagine how different our health pool is going to look if we have, you know, 25 green. Take that. Alright, hooray, combo. For real though, where the hell is the <laughs> where the hell is the hunter's grenade thing? I see that elite. I would love to lose this skill before we fight that. Uh, I guess this is really. I should definitely have just melee attacked the rat. There was no reason for me to charge that all the way up. You know, Lacerating Aura does do some damage. Okay, I climbed back up here because I thought I had seen a, uh, a flash of red in the wall, indicative of a rune. Okay, this'll do. Just anything to, anything to get rid of this thing that's causing me to always be taking double damage. There it is. There's the other scroll. So now a question of whether this is better than our current back backpack shield. Probably not. I do like the assault shield um, for the mobility, but I also think that it's kind of hard to parry with it. Because with a lot of shields, if you parry a tiny bit early, you still get the... If you, if you hit the button a tiny bit early, you still get the parry. If you hit the button a tiny bit early with the assault shield, you sometimes 
bump the enemy or charge through them and miss your parry and do like a very small amount of damage instead. And it still means you don't get hit, but obviously um, that parry is a valuable thing. Um, yeah. Of our two off-color items, this is the better one. Every enemy bravely leaping in front of the claw man to prevent him from being in danger. Uh, does this actually... No, this does, this does not go to a place that we would not otherwise get to. I really should be meleeing more, but it's very satisfying, the sound that the, uh, the crossbow bolt makes. Uh, no. All right, how many enemies are left? Because we know that there's at least... Okay, that's just a shop. I don't even need to go there. All right, let's clean up these last two. The necklace this guy has could actually be worth, uh, worth using. It's like the first time I've ever just opened a door outside of the, uh, the challenge to get the door item. You know, there's not much call for it. Alright, uh, let's go sell some cherries and then get out of here. 67 kills. Flawless. I feel pretty good about it. I'm hoping it's a good omen, although I feel like this is a thing that is not necessarily difficult to do with the explosive uh, crossbow. It's a very powerful weapon. Very powerful and very safe. So yeah, if we end up on a proper, a proper weapon and shield for the, the giant boss fight, Especially if it's, like, the giant killer. I could see us, um, first of all, still having really impressive damage output, but secondly, actually having an amount of health that will make a huge difference. Oh, it's gotta be the Death Orb, right? Now, I will say, as things stand right now, we don't really have a way of using our Hunter's Grenade. Um, but I think with any weapon and shield combo... You can try to get the uh, the grenade effect off during the post parry stun, even without the the shield, where its whole thing is that it stuns people. We really have a lot of green items left in the pool. Uh, the force shield would probably be cool to unlock. We we could just unlock a new kind of shield, or I suppose maybe the um, maybe the boomerang. We'll see. And honestly, I think that I think the heart's done real good work for us so far. All right, so this is going to be a slow arboretum. Crossbow combat is not the fastest combat, and I'm going to be leery of using the melee attack on anything that we don't know for sure that it kills. The beginning of this song really makes me think of the Obradin. Those strong baby giraffe vibes. Yeah, the fact that right, for the moment it's just straight one-shotting absolutely everything, even the large enemies, is really nice. And it's S rank, right? Yeah, so. This is as good as it's getting for an early game weapon. Hmm, okay, we could take a root grenade, uh, and that would solve our hunter grenade problems right there. Also, it's just generally a very powerful item. Hmm. We will certainly have enough gold. We can afford to take this and just leave our, our death orb. I think I want to. I think this is really good. As I mean, as is the death orb, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of safety and security. I don't know if you guys know this, but Root is a good status effect. It's a, th a thing I figured out all on my own. I do kind of wish that you couldn't change directions during the wind-up animation of the crossbow. That definitely gets me in trouble. 
I thought there was floor. <laughs> I thought there was going to be floor underneath that. So hold on a sec. One of these guys is up here. Um, I guess it's it's nice. It, it is purely a good thing for the player that you can change directions, right? It enables you to correct your decision making. Um, it's just a problem for me because I make bad decisions and I panic. And the correct solution there is not to not have that ability, but rather for me to not panic. Boy, we couldn't aim up just like a little tiny bit. Take this, a door. Okay. Actually, I guess we should go up, huh? We haven't actually been all the way to the top here. Make sure we're mapping the whole place out. Oh, gee. Hi, everyone. Oh, look at that. The melee attack not even actually killing a bat. Although, we didn't get him with the bow. I'm sure it does more damage. I'm sure it's. I'm sure the bow itself does damage, and then the explosion also does damage. Whoa, that was not what I was expecting. I just sort of took off there. <laughs> yeah, what, what on earth caused me to suddenly gain so much height? Bow desperately trying to uh, trying to atone for its earlier sins. It's like, no, look, I can aim. I'm smart. All right, this is going all right, and I see we hit combo. I didn't even notice the notification, but happy to have done it. Mm. <laughs> I don't care for this. I'm a little concerned. Okay. <laughs> Wait, tactics increased. I clicked on the... Did it... Was it not green where I where I clicked... Where my mouse cursor was when I clicked? Hmm. That's a little... Hmm. That's, that's like a, a pretty big bummer. Yo, these guys have a lot of health, and they uh, cannot be killed. Uh, they're smart enough to teleport behind me. Don't care for it. And they hit us, but they did not actually um, give us any malaise, which is interesting. Um, is this better? I don't actually think this matters. The poison thing. Yeah, I'm not sure why we didn't take malaise there. Well, at least we at least we took a weird bad hit after we comboed. There are a lot of shields that I would like to use more often, and I've just been I've been very um. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Ow. Stupid tiny mushroom men. There we go. It is very slightly faster than the than the normal attack. Uh, nope. Well, that was a goofy way to take two malaise. It's definitely fixable, but still goofy. Yeah, it's interesting that we were um we were one-shotting things even in this biome, weren't we? And then all of a sudden we're um all of a sudden we're not despite hmm I wonder what is going on with the with the math there. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's what happened because if I had clicked right there, I bet it would have given us a red point of stats despite the fact that my cursor was in the green area. Because it just it started on red and it didn't move over until I pressed the uh, until I moved a little bit. That's pretty annoying though. It should probably, you know, when you're using the mouse to indicate stuff, it should probably uh, believe that you mean where the cursor is.
being just permanently down a point of stats uh, because of that feels real crummy. Okay, looks like we're done over here. We'll leave the watermelon until we're uh, until we're all done with the place. Hopefully we can find one more thing of food and end up coming out of this with no malaise after all. Yeah, see now we're now we're killing stuff in one hit again. I guess it's just like a little we're right at the edge of the one shot range and it's a little bit of damage variance maybe. Pretty sure we didn't kill the big mushroom guy. Yeah, there he is. I really thought that was going to kill him. There we go. Yeah, the difference with a weapon like this, um, the difference in kill time between one shot and two is really quite significant. Oh, hey, another way outside. Oh, except I can't actually climb up here. Hold on. Am I out? Oh, there's an invisible ceiling. Why is there even a version of that piece that has a break in the ceiling if they're not going to let you up there? That's weird. We, I guess, I was gonna look at the map to see where all the enemies were, but I guess we don't even have that information yet. I assume that guy was injured because he was walking into spikes. Okay, now we're mapped. Oh, interesting. You can... I, I don't think I had realized how quickly you could follow up the bolt attack with the melee attack. Ah, that's on me. That's 100% me just thinking I had it. So, actually, the difference between one hit and two is not as bad as I was thinking. I guess we could have just waited for this, although it's certainly a less effective root grenade. So you can see the... um. The rank doesn't just determine the actual damage output, the actual numbers on the thing, but I think it also affects the number of um, the number of bonuses that you get. So even on a thing where the direct damage doesn't matter, higher rank stuff is still better. Oh, hey there. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping for some food. Well, this is a little, a little tiny bit less clean than some of our previous recent runs have been. Um, I think I like the one we have slightly better. The roll, the rolling bomb is nice. It's good for picking up bats and stuff when you're in a situation where you're having a hard, hard time killing them the natural way. That's definitely a no. Okay. <laughs> he attacked. I assumed he knew better than I did and that his thing would actually go through the wall. One thing I would really like to see is a, um, a really good high quality shield so that we can be ready for when it's time to go weapon and shield. Uh, there's a scroll fragment. I guess there's some free items still. Yeah, we may as well clear everything.
I was hoping I would uh, spark him to go into charge mode by running through him. Okay, there's no reason for us to go in there. Man, a plus 15% damage that spreads oil on the enemy. It does feel like the game always wants us to go purple, doesn't it? I think this is slightly better than our current shield. I don't know, they're pretty close in value. I am not even considering a rank 5 melee weapon. Okay, with that I think we're done. So full health and two malaise into the next area is not ideal. But it's also definitely not worth um not worth taking alienation for. I'm really pleased though that we've gotten to a uh, we've gotten to a place where alienation is not even something we have to take a lot of the time. We're just playing that much cleaner. Also, man, I gotta tell you, some watermelon sounds real good right now. On account of dead cells, I uh, I, d I bought some watermelon last time I went to the store and. Uh, and then I ate it all, very quickly, because it turns out watermelon is delicious. Alright, so we are definitely... I, I, I am definitely confident about our ability to clear a cursed chest today. Oh, that's a shame. A giant killer, but it has this... this... You know, this could be re-rolled, though. This is a nine S giant killer. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna we're gonna store this in our backpack. Yeah, that's gotta be that's gotta be right. Unfortunately, um, the way this is working out with us having the hunter's grenade, it is going to like very very rarely be the case that we actually get any benefit out of the the colorless item from the chest here, which is a real shame. Do we want to reforge anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think the stuff we have is pretty great. Okay, so, green. Uh, what do we want? We can, at least in theory, benefit from Heart of Ice now. Uh, the thing that causes, yeah, killing an elite will occasionally drop some cough syrup is pretty cool. A lot of this stuff really wants you to have a shield. How much does... Do we have any idea how much necromancy decreases your infection by when you kill a boss? We might have to take necromancy for the Black Bridge on this one just to find out. Just do a little, little bit of science on that. Uh, so I think actually for the moment, maybe it's just disengagement or something? I don't really think that we, we benefit much from any of the green stuff. Oh, maybe it's ammo. Four bolts can be a problem sometimes and it'll be an issue against like... Um, against the big bat spawning spiders. Although, with those guys, we could just melee them. There's one big upside of this bow. I'm just gonna take disengagement, I think. Yeah, when you are not actively using a shield, you really don't benefit from a lot of the, uh, a lot of the green mutations. All right, show me something really cool. Well, it's probably just a higher quality of root grenade. It is not. It is the same quality of root grenade. That said, is this one actually better than the one we currently have? Uh, the one we have right now causes our arrows to come back, which is nice. This one spreads oil. I guess it's better because we don't have to pay to upgrade it to S quality? Say so it's Effectively, it saves us a little bit of money. a weirdly small number of enemies in total here. This is a dangerous area, though. Yeah, I don't like this at all.
Well, we're gonna we're gonna either cl basically clear it right here or die horribly. But I hate this this platform covered in incredibly dangerous high health enemies, and also there's a bunch of bats nearby. All right, I think what we're gonna do is wait for the green dude to cross again. Oh, the knife thrower is going to be really awkward here, though. Okay, there we go. Alright, thank you, melee attack. Damn it. Somehow I managed to I managed to fall on the wrong side of him. There was almost no space there. The good news is an explosive crossbow has a fairly significant breach value. Also, while the guy those guys are pretty much immune, ooh, he did not get breached. That's interesting. He definitely should have. I was going to say, while those uh, those spinning guys are usually immune to ranged attacks while they're spinning, right? I think we've that's a thing we've learned, but apparently not the explosive crossbow. Because, you know, it's an explosive crossbow. I guess maybe there's a moment where he is not considered to be preparing for an attack between his attack notification stance and the actual charge. So he you can't... Generally speaking, enemies do not get breached unless they are prep, uh, prepping an attack. It can happen if your weapon has enough breach value, but... At least I think it can. So we could potentially see an interesting shield here. That said, the crossbow should be pretty good against Black Bridge. Maybe I want to hold on to it. I think I want to hold on to it for this, at least. Yeah, we'll, we'll consider coming back here uh, later on. Because if we did get a good shield from that to go along with our giant killer, obviously the giant killer should be pretty good at killing the boss. That is kind of its whole deal. There was so much blood in the uh, in the wall socket there for some reason that I thought for a second that Jem had the malaise. Okay, that was a little panicky and terrifying. Should we go back and fight that random... I probably should go back and fight that random elite. It's like, I don't want to do things that have a chance of causing malaise, but we have a root grenade. This should actually be pretty easy. Almost ran out of ammo doing it, though. So the question is, if we do go sword and shield to the boss, am I going to miss my crossbow? Am I going to regret not having a crossbow after the boss? Let's try to knock him off the platform here. Almost. Okay, we eventually got there. Melee attack, apparently not quite as effective as I would like. So we don't even have to directly hit him to get the breach. Uh, if we actually do catch him during the windup. 
It's just, his attack is so fast, I think it's pretty hard to do. Oh, that's really bad. You know, honestly, that didn't end up being that much damage, though. Ooh. Interesting that our attack went off. We still hit him. But also, he still got the, um... Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Also, he still got the hit on us, too. You would think it would be one or the other. Alright, well, this is not going all that well, actually. <laughs> Things are turning on us a little bit here. It's nothing to panic about yet. Oops, I didn't actually clear the thing. Now I'm living in fear. Yeah, we I mean, we definitely need a weapon upgrade. Shoot. Didn't see that coming. Ah, uh, okay, come on now. I did not get hit by that. You can tell I didn't get hit by that because I wasn't on the platform anymore when I took the damage. This is, this is not, not smooth at all, in fact. What's the opposite of smooth? Chunky. This is a very chunky run. This is, this is the rocky road. This is some moose tracks type dead cells right here. Let him, let him walk past and then root him. Pfft. Well, damn it. Don't much care for the way the, the green zombie guys are just disregarding my, my decision to leave the platform. Huh. I don't... An assault shield really doesn't feel like the thing we want, though. So this does, I mean, the amount of the amount of damage we've taken here does really limit the amount of money that I want to spend. All right, hold on a second. Let's go back to the let's go back to the shop. Are we gonna? Oh no, we we activated the teleporter already. That's right. It's before the branch. Okay. So first things first. Really, that's the closest teleporter to that watermelon man. You know, I get they want to make traversal more difficult. Maybe put in some teleporters that only activate after you kill all the enemies or something. Just so I can move around, you know? So these are eights. The thing is, I don't really want to pay 5,500 gold for a... I really like a bloodthirsty shield, but I we just... We can't. We can't pay the prices here. Uh, it would be irresponsible to do so. Because we are going to need to do a lot at the food shop in the ossuary. Is it... Backward is probably faster. So the question is, do we just take the bad assault shield? Or do we keep rolling crossbow for the moment and try to, try to find something actually in the ossuary? Or I suppose I could, I could just unlock us a new shield. Yeah, you know what, that's what we'll do. We'll just put a, put a cell into one of the remaining shields and get a, uh, get a new shield that way. Which means that actually now the question is, are we doing that before the ossuary? Are we, are we going to try to ride out our slightly out of date crossbow? Because it's still a pretty safe weapon. I'm not necessarily using it optimally, but it is pretty, uh, still a pretty safe weapon. Do we want to wait till right before the boss to take the shield? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. What are we? What are we up against in the ossuary? You know what? I don't necessarily want to just be melee weapon and shield against um, against those obelisks that shoot the energy. I think we'll we'll stick with this for right now. We'll unlock a shield right before the boss. So you are going to give me. I guess I could just take necromancy now so that if we're if we're planning to test necromancy on the boss even though it's not going to do anything for us in the level just take it now so that we don't have to spend too much money rebuying our mutations 
It's not like any of the other mutations we have access to are going to be, like, super valuable for us. So I guess we may or may not actually get uh, <laughs> get to test Necromancy, because we might not have a lot of malaise to speak of when we hit the boss. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, even, even these little enemies are starting to sur survive direct hits. That's pretty satisfying, though. So, using the shop, we can remove up to nine points of malaise, right? Five from the flask charge, three from the cough syrup, and one more from the watermelon. So we're not necessarily in a lot of danger. Ooh. I'm going to leave this here. If we forget about it, I've only lost 480 uh, gold. But if we use our... Uh, if we end up using our... Uh, what do you call it? Our hunter's grenade here. If there is, in fact, still something to hunt. I think it'll be really nice to have that. Oh, in fact, there is still something to hunt. Here, let's go to a flatter surface. Oh, that's not what I want. Up here, this will be good. Jeez. What? That was the slowest attack of all time. He, he intentionally waited. I don't like it. Okay, well. I guess that frees up the slot, though, huh? I actually really like Atomic. Yeah, that was wild. He he started the charge up for his uh, for his dive, and I waited a second, and then rolled, and still had time to complete the entirety of the roll before he attacked. That is not how long that usually takes, and the elites are usually faster than the normal version of the enemy. Really? That's just going to sail right over? Okay, well we did get it to blow up at least. Yeah, I think we made the right call with the, um continuing to use the crossbow, but it's definitely definitely still a problem. I did not mean to eat that. I went over there to I went over there to hit R on the wall to activate it because I didn't I didn't think we had attacked it enough time to open enough times to open yet, and so we just ate Malay's food. Okay, well, I desperately need to find the food shop. Yeah. Found it nice and early. Interesting. A more traditional ranged weapon. It does more damage than even a crossbow crit. Well, it does more DPS. And it, it begins to deal that DPS faster. I think we're just going to take this for now. I don't I don't know that this is necessarily what we'll stick with. But I do think it's an upgrade immediately. Oh, hold on to me. There we go. I do think it's an upgrade immediately. And then we probably will still unlock a shield and go giant killer plus shield against the boss. Oh, what am I doing? There's a, there's a teleporter up here. We should probably just use that. All right, let's just try not to take really dumb damage. Hold on, does this bow have... Oh, that's right, the giant killer has double damage taken. Well, you know what? Honestly, it's unlikely to matter too much here. 
That's right. I, for I forgot. We need to reroll this giant killer. It's fine. Just don't take damage. Obviously. The hell are all the enemies? Okay. Oh, you are kidding me. It didn't even charge up as long as they usually do, I think. Like, that was... that It, it went off, like, immediately, as soon as the sound started happening. I feel like usually you would have time to fire a, uh, a bow shot and still escape there. That really sucks. Well, given the length of these runs, I do not think it is wise to start a new one an hour and 40 minutes into the episode. But that was a real bummer, huh? And we didn't even actually get to cash in that blueprint. Although now we know that we don't, um... Now we know that we don't care about the blueprint those guys have, because it's just a, an outfit and not even a good-looking one. Alright, well, I guess that's going to have to be it for us for today. Bummer, man. It's a small, it's a small goofy mistake, and honestly, I think my logic in not... Uh, the logic that led me to not expect it is fairly reasonable, because those guys don't activate when you're not on the same... Right, like, if there's something between you and them, they don't usually turn on, so there's no reason that that should have known to attack us through the floor anyway. That was just a thing that behaved in a way that's different than they always behave. Anyway, when you come back next time tomorrow, we'll just take another crack at this. And we'll see you then.